Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here today with us to witness the inauguration of the Pacific City Gain for Life Academy, which is a training academy um, to develop livelihood skills in young Sabahans, especially for the service aspects of the tourism sector. Pacific City Gain for Life is a non-profit organization that will produce what we term as workplace-ready executives for the Sabah workforce. We have positioned ourselves as a community builder rather than as a, commer rather than as a commercial organisation. We are not driven by the profit motive, but by community building. We do so because we understand the simple fact that without the support of the community, no organization can succeed or progress. This may sound unorthodox or non-viable commercially, but when you distill this thinking to its very essence, it is really common sense. Organizations do not have to be profit-motivated or profit-driven to succeed. In fact, the reverse is true. An organization that positions itself as a profit-driven one is really positioning itself to be in immediate conflict with its customers. Because the customer must maximize his savings and he must derive the best possible terms for his money, the organization that positions itself as a profit-driven one must maximize its profit. Therein lies the conflict. We are a four billion development spread over 25 acres of prime commercial land in the richest catchment area of Sabah. It, we have the income-rich suburbs of Signal Hill, Likas, Lintas, Hilltop, Kosang, etc. as our immediate catchment. This is why we have positioned ourselves to be Sabah's most prestigious community hub. Internationally, shopping centres have evolved to become the new community centres for community social interaction. Shopping centres that remain merely as a place for commercial transactions are in danger of being redundant. And that's why we have built community-oriented facilities like family clubs, event entertainment spaces and auditorium, family entertainment centres, a medical centre, and a good range of restaurants, specialty food hall, and large homeware specialty stores, and a good supermarket. So this really would be for the community of Sabah. But our corporate, our corporate social responsibilities are primarily education and skills training based. Um, we are motivated to develop sustainable livelihood skills, and we have initiated a number of education and skills training uh, institutions with expert strategic alliance partners like Help University, the Green School of Bali, and now the Pacific City Gain for Life Academy. We have also established a preschool called the Young Explorers Academy, to initiate preschool learning in a fun-filled, imaginative, and stimulating environment, to create in young children the essential skills of leadership, creative thinking, dynamic and productive energy, and good social and moral behavior, as well as good etiquette. We have also built the, Ch the Chance Center, which provides free preschool learning for the poorer children around Likas so that these children will not be deprived of the chance to join mainstream schooling upon attaining school-going age. Um, we started with only 20 children, now we have over 100. This school has already attracted the attention of some NGOs and recently a large group uh, of university students from Waseda University in Tokyo came to visit us. We hope that this sort of interaction with international organizations will eventually pave the way for Sabah to develop further and faster. Ladies and gentlemen, the key objectives of today's initiative, which you are here to witness, um, is to produce work-ready, workplace-ready candidates to serve the retail trade 
and the hospitality sectors. The students from this academy will be undergoing internships with large established commercial organizations as a key part of its training curriculum. This will mean that each graduate from this academy will require a minimal orientation period and they will be able to assume workplace responsibilities from day one of employment in the case of conventional training systems. The gestation period for most employees could range from a minimum of six months to several years before they become productive. Most commercial organizations can no longer afford to have, student, uh, to have trainees and to have executives who will take a long time to become really productive. We believe that any community building initiative must be firmly anchored in livelihood development skills, training, character building, and education. This is why our CSR initiatives will always be focused on these areas. This is our pledge to the people of Sabah. Thank you.